All right, I'm just gonna do one last video for Englewood. I did a long video driving from um, 33604 to, uh, or from 33612, I should say, to South Tampa at 33611. But um, I just wanna give you the short, briefer version of this drive-by. This is South Tampa, this is 33611. And this property is right here. Beware of dog signs all over it. I'm gonna believe them. It is a corner lot. It looks, the windmill looks a little dirty. It doesn't look like quite pride of ownership. You can see the, the neighborhood. It has no garage to it. Roof needs to be replaced, probably. But it looks like it's lived in, so I'm assuming it has air conditioning and plumbing's working and stuff of that nature. And, um, you know, if you can get it at a good price, you'll be in South Tampa, which is a good thing. You know, not one of the more impressive roads or neighborhoods, but you'd be surprised how quickly it can change into something nice in South Tampa. I'm going to do a little bit more neighborhood drive-by South Tampa uh, viewing here for you in this video. Just to give you some perspective. Like I said, see the way it works is South Tampa, the most southern point where there's McDill, the prices are at their least, like where you can get something for maybe 200000 or less. As you go further north into 33611, like the average prices in 33611 is in the 300s. The average price in 33629, which is just above it, is in the 500s. That's average. There's quite a few in the 7s and 8s and millions and 1.5 millions. And then 2 million plus is like on the water. So I'm going to uh, just give you a little bit more perspective. Like I said, because this area really started developing when air conditioning was invented, you know, maybe in the 50s or whatever, 40s, 50s, there's, there's some variety here. You know, not everything is impressive. There's no HOAs. That's before HOAs became the thing. <laughs> this dude doesn't like that I'm going 25 miles an hour. Idiot trying to pass me in his car coming. So you can see there's newer homes right there, that whole stretch there, all new homes. Good for him, he's first to the traffic light. I hope he likes the extra 10 feet of uh, road that he's got. So there's a little public area. You can see there's uh, McDill. And probably it'll take you right to McDill if you took a right. I'm going to go straight because I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit Bayshore. So I'll give you a little taste of Bayshore. You can see where we're heading. If we go straight, we'll get right to Bayshore. So I'm going to take you up Bayshore and then I'll end this video. There was a house just, just back here on my on my left. Um, really, really cool house. I showed it a couple of years ago, and it had um, a spiral staircase, like a like a like you've never like I've never seen. I mean, it literally just went straight like in a spiral to the top, of, and it was the only way to get upstairs. You couldn't get up any other way than through the spiral staircase. No elevator. Um, crazy. And when he moved there, he was military. They actually had to hoist the furniture um, up through the uh, tall ceiling space. They couldn't bring it up the stairs. They had to hoist it to the top. But it had really cool looks to it, just not 
super practical. So you might see some of these, uh, there's a couple nice ones. Um, so you said you might see some of these and kind of wonder what the heck the hype is about. But there's some beautiful ones and then there's old ones. Yeah, there's some people who think if you live in South Tampa, you never have to go anywhere else. Like everything you need is in South Tampa. I'm not one of those people that thinks that, but I mean, every town has their own amenities for, you know, restaurants and grocery stores and stuff like that. So, but the, 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 in South Tampa, there's almost like a bit of an arrogance, you know, kind of like, where are you from? And are, you know, are you one of us or not one of us? Which I'm not too fond of. Um, so like I said, I got out of this area marketing wise. You can see we're really close to the ocean. I think this will be the last traffic light and then we'll be at Bayshore. Shore. Oh, it looks like we are Bay Shore. There's Bay Shore Boulevard right there. So I think we'll take a left right here. Alright, now we're on Bayshore. Bayshore is where uh, they hold a lot of, um, you know, events, breast cancer walks and other types of stuff. There's a lot of people jogging up and down Bayshore. A lot of condominiums that are along Bayshore. A couple select houses are along Bayshore. Um, after we get to this past this traffic light, it'll open up. You know, right here it'll it'll dip once we get there, and then it's just open along along the water. This is still some old condominiums and stuff that are here. You know, fairly inexpensive. One one hundred thousand, one two hundred thousand, something like that. But you don't have the view of the ocean, so it goes up. Stuff with the ocean view, then it's three hundred thousand plus. I think my new uh, phone delivered to me today. I got the uh, Galaxy S8, so that'll be my new toy. This is the S7 I'm using. Has good camera quality. Can't complain, but see if it gets any better. Five fifteen, so the traffic is out. Hopefully we we'll get through the light here.
real close to getting out to the bay. Alright, so here's where it starts. This is Bayshore. You see, uh, way off in the distance, city of Tampa. People on their on their bicycles. Homes that are uh, with the water view of the bay. Million dollar homes. They're all looking at this uh, this view of the water. People with their dogs. You see the condominiums. Like I said, those are two fifty to a million dollars, depending on which building you go to. You know, some of them are thousand square feet some of them are three thousand square feet you know you get the whole floor it depends so therefore the fees can vary but uh, you know more homes right on Bay Shore if you pick up one of those in an auction I'd say go for it <laughs> condominiums you can see we're kind of uh, closing in on Bay Shore here we're getting towards the top they're building another condominium there and there's the city condominiums and I am gonna head back to try to see which way is my road I think it might be the next one down Yeah, this is it. So kind of putting it where it's at, oh, now I got my green light, this is going to put me onto the highway and then I'll end this video. The cross town, I talked about the toll road, take me a straight shot back to Brandon. Yeah, there's a couple of prestigious restaurants around here. There's a steakhouse called Burns. I've never been there. You have to uh, wear appropriate you know, clothing, and um, you know, generally it's 100 bucks a person, you know, with steak and dessert and all that. And that's one of our more prestigious places. But I, I've never been. There's another Italian place I haven't been to. Actually, I have been to. It's okay. 
I expected more with all the hype, but, but anyway, alright, so I'm just waiting to get on the turnpike and head home, hopefully this, uh, this helps you with the drive-bys, and, um, I'll upload this and we'll talk later, bye.